Welcome to part two of my setup guide for the Gridseed ASIC script miner. Last time in part one, I showed you how to set up in script only mode. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up the device so that it works in dual mining mode. And then you will be able to mine Litecoin and Bitcoin at the same time. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go download Zagdig win usb driver installer we're going to use this program to reinstall the driver for the device and install over the virtual com port you installed last time in part one so go to the zagdig website you can find the link in the description go down and download the version for your computer Open the exe file, click yes, okay now go to options, list all devices, look under the devices and look for STM32 virtual com port or it might also be listed as CP2102 USB, so click on that. Select Win USB and then click Replace Driver. Wait for it to finish installing the driver. It may ask you to restart your computer. If so, just click restart now. After restarting your computer, you can open Zagdig driver installer again. Click yes. Options, list all devices. Look for the virtual COM port and it says win USB driver installed you can see it's correctly installed so close that now so the next step is you have to download the specially modified version of CG miner so that it can mine in Bitcoin only mode first so go to the download link in the description click download okay, open up CG miner Extract it to the location you want. I'll pick the desktop for now. Click OK. Find the CG Miner modified version. Here it is. Open it up. Find the start btc.bat file. Click Edit. So here you have to type in your um, information for mining Bitcoin or SHA256 coin. So I'm picking a BTC Guild. I put the mining pool address here, uh, the port here, my username here, after dash U, and after dash P my password. And then leave all the other options here by itself for now. Leave the frequency at 750. So that's fine. Click save. Just update it with your personal settings. Now run. So double click it. And here we see accepted. 
So now that is mining in Bitcoin mode. Perfect. So it's hashing away happily in Bitcoin mode. So now go back to your specially modified version of CPU miner that I showed you how to um, set up in the setup guide part one. So open up that CPU miner, go to start mining, click edit. And here we have the frequency set for 800. That's for mining only in script mode, right? So we're going to bring that down a little bit because these things can get quite hot when they're mining in dual mining mode. So I'll put that down to 750. And then make sure your um, Litecoin pool settings are all correct. I'm using WeMine LTC. Port, my username, is all correct. Okay, and then we also have to add one more special thing here. We have to add dual mode to here, here. So click double dash and then just type dual. Ooh. Take off gap start. Dual, like that. Make sure you spell dual proper correctly. Okay, it's dual frequency. Com port is correct. Got my mining pool stuff here. Great. Okay, click save. Close that. And then double click start mining. Wait a few seconds for it to find the accepted share. So you can see here it says in dual mode, so it's actually mining in dual mode now. Boom, and accepted, yeah. So now if you look here, you'll have two um, instances. You have um, CG miner mining Bitcoin, and you have CPU miner mining Litecoin. And there you go, your device is now happily working in dual mining mode. So dual mining mode, we have 6.5, 6.3 giga hash per second for Bitcoin. And for Litecoin, it will be about 300 kilo hashes per second. So there we go. It's mining happily away. The lights are flashing. So actually still not very hot. So what you can do if your device is not very hot at all, then you can always just go back to your bat files. Okay, close down the programs and you can edit the frequency, okay? So maybe you can push it back up to 800 for each one. So just keep playing around with the frequency um, to see what's the fastest speed you can get. But do be careful because you can um, fry your chip or damage your device, okay? So that's the end of my guide. I hope you like it. So um, basically what you have to do is you have to set up it mining in two different um, softwares. So you have... Um, a modified version of CPU miner to mine Litecoin and a modified version of CG miner to mine Bitcoin and you just run them both at the same time. So if you have more than um, if you have more than one um, grid seed miner, then unfortunately you actually have to do this um, whole setup process for each miner, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, isn't it? To be honest, but um, there is one way to get around this, and it's to buy a Wii box which is a small computer and you use that to mine with and then you can mine both of them or you can get a Raspberry Pi as well and you can mine um, dual mining mode in both of them too and then when you set that up you only got to do it once and it will mine for all your miners but um, yeah there you go happily accepting lots of shares that's what I like to see so I hope you found this um, useful thank you very much thanks for watching this is Electronic Pro Seller from the iBoot team um, Please visit our iBoot.com website for more support and if you want to buy any more miners. Actually, we're all sold out now at the moment on batch one, but we'll have a batch two arriving shortly. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.